practice listening to real conversations in English with people from around the world. Welcome to Conversations in English. So my name is Wendy. Welcome to Conversations in English and I am here with Sorna. Sorna, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Honchun Sorna. Honchun is my last name and Sorna is my first name. Uh, I'm from Inner Mongolia, China. Uh, I'm nationality Chinese and also I'm minority in China, Mongolian. So I'm bilingual, I'm native in Chinese and Mongolian. And it's very nice to meet you all. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> and you are a teacher on italki, is that right? Yes, um, I teach Chinese and Mongolian at the same time. Very good. And I'm going to leave a link in the description so that people will be able to find you and contact you for classes. Oh, so as you so know, <laughs> as you know, our conversations are very relaxed and we can talk about anything you'd like to talk about. So what would you like to talk about today? Um, I think maybe I can talk about, how about we just talk about our, our culture? Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, so what is important for people to know about Mongolians or Mongolians living in China or Chinese? What do you think is important that people know? Um, I think, I think maybe sometimes people just don't know uh, they also have places called Inner Mongolia. The script that we use here, uh, we call it we call it the traditional script or the origin script. Mm -hmm. uh, but the script that they use, the people who's from Mongolia, we call that Cyrillic. Okay, interesting. Yeah, very it's good. Very so when you go to communicate with somebody who is from Mongolia, the country. Is there mm -hmm. a difference in how you understand understand each other? Uh, the difference is just all about the accent, actually. Like in Inner Mongolia, we've got more than five accent in Mongolian, mm -hmm. but uh, in Mongolia, I think we call their accent half accent, mm -hmm. and sometimes we can get that very easily, but sometimes just don't really understand that. Mm -hmm. And it's very funny that, uh, you know, in my college, uh, in my room, uh, the mm -hmm. roommates are all from the Inner Mongolia and they're all Mongolians as well. But sometimes mm -hmm. just can't con communicate with each other uh, by Mongolian because we've got so different accent. So we have to use Chinese. OK, so my question is, how long has your family lived in China? Is this one or two generations into it or thousands of years? How long have has your family been part of China? Well, I think I'm um, originally from Inner Mongolia and so do my family. My grandparents, my great great grandparents are all from Inner Mongolia. OK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you like to talk about today? Mm, I think it would be great to talk about learning languages. Okay, fabulous. All right, so tell me about the languages that you know or that you've studied. Um, okay, so um, I'm nationality Chinese, but I'm minority in China. I'm Mongolian as well. So mm -hmm. I born, no, I grew up with two languages, mm -hmm. uh, Mongolian and Chinese. And then I began to learn English at the age of 12 at school. And then now I'm college student right now, the second year in university, and my major is Japanese. Okay, so, <laughs> so you, you are quadlingual, quadlingual, so you speak well, four languages. Sort of. <laughs> I'm not really sure because my Japanese is still kind of broken, you know. Okay, okay. But, um, you know, after I choose Japanese, I just realize I'm really into learning languages. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that. That was our conversation with Sorna. And 
Here are some comprehension questions. If you'd like to hear the full version, head on over to Patreon, where you can get worksheets, learn how you can participate in future conversations, and hear the full version of our conversation and other conversations. So the comprehension questions. Number one, where does Sorna live? Question two, what ethnic minority is she a part of? Question three, what two native languages does she speak? Question four, can people from Mongolia and Inner Mongolia communicate? Head on over to Patreon where you can learn how Arabs played an important role in the construction of the Mongolian language. See you next time. Thanks for watching.